Look at this. I generated these amazing logos using one AI website, and trust me, this will make your life easier. So, welcome to the future of AI. In this video, I'll tell you an amazing AI tool through which you can create stunning logos for anything you want. I'll tell you four methods through which you can create logos. So let's get started. So first of all, sign into this website called Fidgetal Plus. I will mention the link in the description box. So once signed in, you will see this beautiful interface and on this website, you will find Midjourney, Delhi 3, Stable Diffusion and so many more image generating models. So we will explore them one by one. So first of all, if you click over here, you will find ChatGPT4 and ChatGPT4 Vision through which you can generate your prompts. So I will ask it to write a prompt for me to generate a logo for my restaurant brand. So let's see what it gives us. So here it has generated a prompt for me. You can also generate your prompts using this chat GPT assistant. So I will simply copy this prompt. Now in the next step, we have to choose a model for generating our logo. Here I will select mid journey. Now I will simply paste my prompt over here. Then I will add some negative prompts below that I don't want blurry and bad quality images. Then there are also some additional settings below. You can also change them according to your preferences. Then I will click on start. So here is the result. Let's just open and this is the result. I simply loved it. As you can see, it has generated the logo just according to my prompt. And I really loved this one. So I will simply download it. Now on the left side, you will see an option of Stable Diffusion Excel Image to Image. Just simply click on it. Now we have to connect the nodes. For example, I like the third image and I want to further edit it using Stable Diffusion Excel. So I will connect the third image node to the start image node of Stable Diffusion Excel. In this way, I will be able to edit it further using prompts. Then I will write a prompt as I want to turn this image into a 3D texture, enhance this image and for the result improve the image. So I will write this prompt and then I will select a prompt style 3D model and then I will select the model from below. Here I have selected Proto Vision. You can select whatever you want according to your preferences. Then I will click on start. And here is the result. Let's check it out. So as you can see, it has given my image a 3D kind of texture and it looks absolutely stunning. If you see, this was the image before and this is the image now after giving it a 3D effect using Stable Diffusion Excel. So you can clearly see the difference in it. It has improved the image, improved the result. So in this way, you can generate your images and then by connecting the nodes, you can add more effects or change the images or edit the images using different models you can also further upscale it as well to improve its resolution if you scroll below you will see an option of upscale image just simply click on it now simply connect the node to edit it so i will uh, connect the nodes and i will click on start you can also select the quality from below so here it has upscaled my image and just check the quality of the image it's absolutely stunning i simply loved it so in this way you can generate high quality 3d logos so if you see this website has a lot of other models as well a lot of tools that you can use to further edit your logos as well so this was the first method now let's move towards the second method so in this method i will tell you how you can create batch like logos first of all click on stable diffusion excel and here i will write a prompt that i want a badge of a zoo then in the negative prompts i will write that i don't want text words or watermark then you have to select a model here i will select protovision once done click on start so here is the result let's open it and as you can see it looks absolutely stunning so i will simply download it now i will tell you an amazing feature simply right click on the canvas click on transform and click on Control Let excel now we will change the color of our logo so first of all connect the nodes for example here i'm connecting the second image node to the start image node of Control Net excel then i will write bronze as i want to turn this image into bronze color then i will copy paste the same prompt that i want a badge of a zoo then i will copy paste the negative prompts as well then just simply click on start so here is the result and it looks absolutely stunning like you can see how beautifully it has changed my logo into a bronze color and it looks so professional now in the same way i will turn this logo into a golden color 
Following the same procedure, first of all go to Control Net Excel, connect the nodes and in the prompt write gold. So here is the result and you can see it has beautifully transformed my logo into a gold color and it looks so professional and so stunning. So I will simply save it. Then you can also remove backgrounds. If you scroll down, you will see an option of remove background. Just simply click on it and connect it with the node of the image you want to remove the background from. Then click on start. So here is the result and you can see it has successfully removed background from my logo and it looks so good. So in this way, within a second, you can also remove backgrounds from your logos. It's that simple. So if you click on the image, you will also see an option of upscale image. So if you click on it, it will simply upscale your images. And if I show you the resolution, you can see the resolution of the image is absolutely amazing. So let me show you. So you can check the quality of the image. I'm simply in love. Just look at the result absolutely stunning so in this way you can create your amazing badge like logos and then you can use it anywhere you want so this was the second method now i will tell you the third method through which you can create your logos and the third method you can simply upload your logos from your gallery and edit them in digital plus for example here i will upload my logo that i want to edit now as you can see this logo is really boring and i want to make it creative so now if you right click on the canvas you will see an option of transform there you will find control net excel just simply click on it then first of all connect the node of the image with it then write a prompt like we did before so here i am writing eagle logo 3d octane render diffused and uh, i want to make it colorful so then i will select the model here i'm selecting proto vision then just simply click on start so here is the result and you can see how beautifully it has changed my boring logo into a very creative and professional look. So um, I really like this one. I will simply save it. Then you can also add more video effects to your images. Right click on the canvas, click on transform and there you will find an option of more video effect. Just simply click on it and then you have to connect the nodes of both of the images to more video effect. So I will connect the node of control net excel image and the original image to the node of more video effect. Then in the settings you have to set the speed of the video, video duration and animation style. So uh, you can set them according to your preferences. Once done, click on start. So here is the result. Let's check. So in this way you can add more video effects to your images. Now I will tell you how you can remove unwanted text from logos. Now for example I generated this logo but I don't want the text to be there. So simply click on the logo and there you will find an option of in paint. Simply click on it and then brush the area that you want to change. I will brush over this text and then simply click on image plus mask. And here you can see the text from the logo has been removed. So in this way, you can use InPaint tool to remove or add objects in the images. So you can play around the tools and generate whatever kind of images or logos you want using Fidgetal Plus. This website has a lot of models and a lot of tools that you can use and you can generate really stunning images. If you want to learn more about this website, I have another video as well. You can watch it. The link is given in the description box. So that's all. Please do like and subscribe to support me so I can make more future AI videos for you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.